Corruption, fraud and greed continue to dominate media here in the United States and around the world as high unemployment and wage stagnation plague the middle class. And growing income inequality has caused millions to wonder, is the system rigged? Is the free market in its very nature corrupt? What is the relationship between morality and markets? Amazingly, a Scottish philosopher and economist explored that very relationship nearly 250 years ago, in the 18th century. His name was Adam Smith. Adam Smith was first and foremost a moral philosopher. His great gift was observation. But perhaps he's best known for his groundbreaking work in economics. Some people say that he is really the father of modern economics. He's a synthetic thinker that crosses these disciplinary boundaries. Adam Smith was born in a small Scottish town and learned early in life about morality and economics at the local merchant's market. He went on to study at Glasgow University, became its top administrator and then a pillar of the most unlikely intellectual revolution the world had ever known, the Scottish Enlightenment. He lived, lectured and socialised in Scotland's capital city of Edinburgh, created the unique economic concept of an invisible hand to describe what happens when we act in our own self-interest, and invented the idea of the impartial spectator in his surprising analysis of the evolution of morality. And I'm fascinated by Adam Smith, a man who would turn the notion of how societies and economics work on its head and make way for the modern age. He recorded his ideas in two comprehensive books, The Theory of Moral Sentiments and The Wealth of Nations. Was he a revolutionary moralist, an uncompromising advocate of self-interest and free markets, or something altogether different? Who was the real Adam Smith? <laughs>